<coughs> well, there she is. Not really a real windy day, but we got a little breeze up here. One thing I did is you know, there's an extra set of wires coming down. And they go right down here to all these LED lights. All the way across my room. I know. My room company. It's a little late for Christmas. But it's not New Year's yet, so. Actually, these are lit up. The sun's kind of keeping them from showing. I rode these on the AC off of one of the coils. Nah. <laughs> Lots of fun. I'll show you the voltage here in a minute. Well, there we are. Running pretty close to about 50 volts. Up to about 75. So it's not going to blow my LEDs. Oops. There we are. Running about 75 and 80. Not getting up much over 100. This is off the end of a string of LEDs. They start lighting right about 45 uh, volts. And then the, uh, when it gets up past about 90, it kind of furls and slows her down. So my LEDs are fine. I don't know if I can show you this, but... The blinking sensation you're looking at is due to the frame's speed there. These are blinking pretty good. <laughs> I'm going to get a picture at night, and then we'll show you again. Thank you very much. I'm Scott Brown, Green Wind and Other Home Energies. Wind's blowing about 10 miles an hour, going up to 15. Since I trimmed my blade, I think I need to rebalance it. It rattles my pole a little bit. But these are LED lights, closely packed. And I think I... They're only 4.8 watts per strand. That's two strands of them. I should have got me about eight or nine of them because this thing puts out a lot more watts, but the voltage doesn't quite make it up to the highest voltage. Eh, it furls out of the wind before it does. It gets up right around 95 to 100 and furls out and slows down. If we had higher winds, it would stay a lot better. The camera doesn't show full brightness on this. Uh, actually, I can see around the yard here all around me, but the camera doesn't pick it up. Sometimes the lights are lit and like right now they're lit pretty pretty decent but it's only showing a little the flickering that you see is due to the frame rate on the camera and if you look halfway down each of the strands you'll see as they kind of flicker alternately compared to the other half and that's because half of it's on the positive pulse and the other half's on the negative pulse I've got this wired off the AC on my uh, wind turbine and I jumped one half of the AC over to the other so I'd wind up having it somewhat in a series of star. And if I hook the test leads to the batteries, the lights don't light, but uh, the load goes to the batteries. LEDs do not conduct until they come to what is called a breakover voltage. They say the 3.6, they usually turn on probably about 2.8. At 3.6 is when they really conduct. If you put a higher voltage to them, they just collect more current. They don't get much brighter. That's where you start burning your LEDs out. The voltage on this is getting up to right about 95 before it furls out of the wind. But anyway, I can see real nice out here. Uh, if I had a few more strands, I'd go ahead and wrap the house. And seeing as it's the voltage that uh, turns these on basically and really doesn't take much current, I don't think it's, the LEDs are not very much of a match. 4.8 per strand, 4.8 watts per strand, and I know I'm getting 50 to 100 watts, so I could put a lot of strands out here and they would all light up pretty nice. <laughs> anyway, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year to everybody out there and many good things to you and yours. Now, later on I'm going to pick up a, a very impressive Christmas light display and show you. You'll be impressed. It's about the best I've seen. Take care. Many good things to you and yours. Scott Brown, Green Wind, and other home energies. Oh yeah, let me show you the voltage. All right, here's the voltage. Well, let me get my light where it's not blind in the camera. Right about here, they're not lit. They're starting to light right about 30-something. They're lit up real nice now. 
I'll just go ahead and leave the voltage to you while you're looking at the lights and you can make your judgment there. Uh, we're looking at 40, which isn't much. There we are, it's 40, there's 50, 56, 60, look back down to 40 something, 50, 61, and that's basically how they're lighting. If you look at one light, you'll notice it kind of does a flicker, but that's due to the frame rate of the camera. For the naked eye, I can't see that. Take care, many good things to you and yours. Thank you.